Right, so this is Excel homework 1.6. This is the data file. I've saved it as SC1 sales and inventory in step one. So in sheet one, so I'm in sheet one, it says enter the word totals in C14. So C14 totals. Step three, format all the cells in sheet one to century font style. So when we click this to select everything, I'm going to come up here and find century. There it is. And then a 12 point font. All right, so step four, set the column width for columns A through G. We want it to be 13.5. So I'm going to come up to format column width and say 13.5. Edit the entry in B2 to read item number. So B2, I'm going to click up here and say item number instead of just item. And then it says use autofill to fill the numbers from B3 down to B13. So that's that green box. Let's drag it down. So it ends in A1510. Now copy the contents of A3 and paste them into A4 to A8. So I drag it, but notice how it changes numbers. I don't want that. So I need to come over here. Actually, I need to come up here and say fill down. So now it's copy instead of an autofill. It says delete column F. So I'm gonna click on F, right click, say delete. Step nine, format ranges A1, through F1 so that it's bold. Oh, sorry, it says A1 to F2, that's why. Make it bold. And then it says A2 to F2, let's do a wrap text. And then for A1 to F1, it says we're gonna prepare it. So I'm gonna select those, and I want the fill color to be red accent two but 25% darker. All right, so now it says make the font changes. So I'm gonna select the color of white, add italic, so the I, and change the font size to 14. Then I'm gonna merge and center, and I'm gonna actually type two lines. So I'm gonna say status report, but on the second line, so I'm gonna hold down the Alt button and press Enter. I'm gonna say sales and inventory by item. And then I need to increase the height of row one. So I'm gonna hover over that, double click. Well, actually that didn't work. So let's go like that, drag it down so we can see everything. So now I'm going to says format, I'm at 16, step 16. So format the values in C, three to C13. And those are gonna be dollar signs with two decimals, so I can leave that. Then it says format E3 to F13 with comma style and no decimals. In cell E14, I'm gonna do an auto sum. And then same thing in EF14, another auto sum. Then it says apply all borders to A1 all the way down to F14. So I'm gonna to come to the borders, say all borders. And then it says add a thick border to row two. and then add a thick bottom border to row 13. So I'm clicking row two, a thick bottom border, and then to row 13, another thick bottom border. And so in that dropdown, when I select that row, it says thick bottom border. And it says add a thick line border around the perimeter of A1 to F14. So thick outside borders. Okay. Insert a blank new worksheet, so worksheet four. So here I'm gonna click the plus button, worksheet four. 
and it says delete worksheet three. So delete that one. Move sheet four ahead of sheet two. Yep. So the order should be sheet one, four, then two. We're going to rename sheet one as status report. And it says change the orientation. So that's the page layout orientation. We want it to be landscape. It says add a header to the status report. So we need to add a header to this. And we also need to, so I'm going to open that scales to fit. I'm going to open the header footer, custom header, and we need to um, show the date. So in the upper left, I'm going to click the date. And then it says to add a footer, so custom footer. And we want a page number in the lower right. Oh, and I forgot our name in the center. So name in the center of the header. And then it says center this worksheet. So in that margins place, I'm going to center horizontally and vertically. I'm going to look at the print preview, make sure it's right. Yep, we have that centered name, date, but that should be your name, and then page number. So go back, make sure it's saved, and submit this file.